Welcome back, my little peach Roonies. Welcome to the final episode of Life is Strange 2. Episode 5, Wolves. This is it. This is like the final episode. If you guys want to say hello to Twitch, you can go ahead and say hello to them in the comments below. If you're on Twitch, you can say hello to YouTube in the comments below as well. I am just going to pop up a little peachy warning as a reminder. This game is an 18 plus. There is violence, gore, horror, adult languages, adult themes. Um, there is obviously a lot of very heavy themes discussed in this game. Um, like racism and homophobia. So I'm just warning you guys now that they those issues may pop up during the game. Um, and also I've set this game to be um, no backseat gaming. Uh, sorry, backseat gaming is allowed, but spoilers are not allowed. So you're allowed to say, make sure you pay attention to this or like, make sure you close this door but you can't spoil the storyline. So that is the one thing that I will say. We did have a snack time, so we will be grabbing snack times. I I ate lunch just before the stream, so what I think we'll do is we will grab snack time at the first, like after the first arc of the game, and then we will grab a snack time. So, uh, and this is my first playthrough as well. First time I've ever played this, so. Sad trash, thank you so much for, for two months in a row, four months in total. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play. I am nervous. Does this volume sound okay to you guys? Or do you need me to turn it up a little bit more? My ukulele is right here. It has chopsticks on it currently, ignore that. It's, oh Jesus, out of tune. Um, why do I always do this? I never have it um, tuned, ready to start. So let me just tune it real quick for you guys. Um, Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Wow. If anything, I've become a pro at ukulele tuning during this episode. Um, although I don't know how relevant the ukulele will be for this Sag episode, but we shall see. We shall see. I think Taz is watching your stream. Taz did raid us earlier on, so Taz may well be watching our stream. I'm going to turn it up just for the beginning because it's going to give us a recap of everything today, and I want to make sure you guys are aware of everything that's gone so far. And let's do this, guys. Let's finish. I'm not ready to finish the story. I enjoy this game so much. Um, I'm really worried about finishing Daniel and Sean's story. Also, I would die for Sean, so if anything bad happens to him, Once I'm gonna be so mad. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace. Last time we'll ever see this. Two hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights. Learning how to live on their own. In fact, I'm gonna grab time. snack time while it's doing this. That's when you the guys big should do the same. Discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them. After a bad accident, they were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. Oh, baby! Him but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult. And he Coyotes. Not That's a good way of showing up. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The last episode is so wolf good. Brothers now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. 
We're going to the, to the mum's hideaway. Are we going to the mum's house? You got breadsticks, Pringles, ham and cheese sandwich, a muffin, an apple fritter. Ooh, some crispies, some ice cream bars, cranberry cookies. They sound really, really good. Blueberries. I got some lotus biscoff. Biscoff. Biscotti. Biscoff. New Jersey. No, stop class. Um, <laughs> where are we now? This is so freaking pretty. Arizona. You were saying about Arizona being really hot. Seven weeks later. Seven weeks. I'm excited for what the, how the hair is going to look. My head was shaved last time because I obviously went through the eye surgery stuff. That little Scorpio boy. That's Ali. He's a Scorpio. Wait, is he? Yeah, I think he is. Um, I just am excited for the hair progress. I don't need to really play ukulele because it's got music, but I'll give you guys a bit. Put on my chesty. Hey. Ha oh, he doesn't have that Good stupid job, haircut anymore. Uh. Dude, come on. He doesn't have the bowl cut. What? Yes, they fixed his what hair. Time is it? Very happy about that. Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Wow. Oh my gosh. Get away from the edge. Get away from the edge, Daniel. Oh my gosh. Imagine being somewhere like that. I've never been to the Grand Canyon or anything like that. I don't think this is the Grand Canyon, obviously. But, you know, somewhere where you <laughs> must feel so tiny. So... Yeah, okay. Good call. Look at our little wow. matching bandanas. <gasps> my hair's grown! That's amazing. Look at all the scars on his little face. Bless I'm... him. Is that from getting beaten up by that guy? And he hit us with a gun as well, do you remember? Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. Can the credits no just come happens. up now? <laughs> Please, I need this ending! Yeah. I love you too. Credits, please, 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 please. Oh. 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 So you're doing that again? You said it was childish with Finn. <laughs> Diaz brothers. Always. Okay, guys, what do I need to prepare myself for? Is there any moments where I have to do a fast reaction? Because those, those are the ones I hate the most. I hate those. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Oh, bless him. She's scared or she's lucky? Why would she be lucky? Oh, because we didn't kill her. I'll say she's scared. But I want to know, do I want him to think he's scared? Okay, this is just going to be several hours of me overthinking everything. Literally overthinking everything. Tiger Lily, thank you so much for the 11 months. It came up. Can't wait to see the decisions you'll make for this final episode. Oh no, I'm scared. And Melody, Melody, thank you so much for subscribing. Please go welcome Melody to the peaches, please. Uh, she's lucky that we didn't kill- no, because I don't want him to think he has that power, you know? Both of these are not the things I would want to say to them, to be honest. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. I oh, don't let him say that. I don't yeah. Know, I don't know if he wants but to hear that. But she's still out there. Somewhere. It creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Hmm. Kinda, yeah. 
Um, I said I would never lie to him. <clears throat> I said I would never lie to him again. So, I'm gonna stop lying to him. I am gonna stop lying to him. Sort of. We did a lot of... Questionable. Legal shit. <laughs> the cops catch us. We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Aren't you so- Yeah, I can tell you. Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf. The Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep we don't know how it in ends, the Red though. Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, I but between to them and their destination. Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. No, Daniel, <laughs> I tell the story. You just listen, babe. But she's okay? nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story, too. Right? Um, I, I, you guys reminded me that I've got alert noises on, so I'm just going to mute those real quick. Um, Kaito, thank you for the bits. There's a possibility of six different endings. I won't spoil what they are, but you've played three of them. I'm so scared of getting a bad ending. Like, I'm so scared. Also, you guys were asking about tonight's video. I've pushed it back a day. So the day, the uploads are going to be staggered one day on, one day off, just because I'm going to go see my family this weekend because they all need some severe hugs. Yeah, that's true. That okay, was a memory. Then. That was an important so moment. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. What? Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. I wonder if we'll ever see... Um, back to town. Who was the girl from the start? I wonder if we'll ever see her again. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. Um, this Constellations book. Sketchbook, yes, we can draw. I'm sorry I missed one draw moment last episode, I think. But Ooh, I'm going to draw sketching now. Sketching time. Good idea. He's being like sweet little brother at the moment. Please stay this way, Daniel. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind... I can still sketch Look where everything. our eye is. Can you see that? Yeah. Lila, yeah, I wonder if we'll ever see Lila Almost. again. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. Look where my eye is. This I have to go so, so cool. far to the left to be able to, like, see what's on that side. Oh, he's still really good. Yes. My Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Chilled mm, or badass? I can try. I'm gonna draw him chilled. Because I'm scared of him becoming an actual badass. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so good! Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. I wonder if Daniel will lose his powers. Because he can't just, like, do his whole life, like... What will happen? What will he do? Just, like, be like Matilda, where he, like, puts the book into bed? Uh, puts the book onto the bookshelf from bed? I don't know. 
Oh, we got telescope. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up I close. guess there's no light pollution here. It's like, it's like right the there. perfect place. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. Hmm. Oh, I feel such. I want to just hang out here where everything's happy and safe. I feel like there's more sadness coming our way. I love that they went here in Stargaze, though. I would love to do oh. that somewhere with no light pollution. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Ooh. Oh, we can get him to do it. Uh, do I press shift? Space. How do I do it again? God damn. That food was amazing. I've forgotten how to make him do it. Thanks, Joanne. It's not enter, is it? No. E. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Yep, now he's still a bra. Out. He's Jeez. still a bra. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. There we go. He's still, he's still a bra, isn't he? <laughs> Activate flashlight. On the way. Oh man, what you'd love to have this power. I would actually love to be able to do this so much. Everything else, I think I just pack myself. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Ah, so the mum is very into, like, stargazing and stuff. Which is really cool, to be fair. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. Why is it doing the noise like he's doing parlors? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, be careful with it. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Oh, he was messing with Let's an go. animal. We don't like that, guys. We don't like that. I knew I could hear him doing something. I could hear his powers, like, going, but I, I didn't know what he was doing. Stars. Or any. <laughs> this is so nice. I love it here. Ooh, we saw the Milky Way. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Arthur and Stanley. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Oh, look. Hey, see this? The little sp piled rocks. Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. You just pushed us out of the way. Did sick. you see that? Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Away? <gasps> Is that the I name of where Joanne. she lives? The mom? Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. Oh my gosh, this it's is me nice being be so dumb. Power up here. The name being spelt J or yeah. Artner, I always Karen thought it was, was right. Joan. Is it Joan? Cool Have I been wrong this whole time? Oh yeah, you guys said Mom look at the. Say much about my power. How do I look at my backpack? Shift. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's check out our uh, updated notebook. Okay. Um. Yeah, I thought it was Joan. I thought Joan was a name. I thought Joan was like a legit name. Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? <laughs> Joan and Joan are spelt the same. We're all confused in the chat. I love that. Flores tried to blame me again. Can't blame her for trying. Who's Flores? Um, stuck out the hospital window. It wasn't easy with only one eye. Didn't realize how high up I was. Maybe it helped. 
Bumped into Finn on the way down the scaffold and it messed me up. Brought back too many memories, but I gotta focus on what's important. Reach Nevada, find Daniel. Uh, there's Finn. Did we not look at this last time? Um, I haven't been in a wreck yet. I gotta pull over soon so I can rest. Driving in the dark with an eye, uh, with one eye is the absolute worst. Gonna pull over soon so I can rest. Oh, would feel a lot safer walking on the edge of a cliff on a moonless night. I've, I can't read his handwriting since he lost his eye. I find it really difficult to read now. Oh, look at him drawing himself as a little wolf. I'm so glad he can still draw. Let racists humiliate me so that they wouldn't beat me up. Hurts, but I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. No biggie, ego. No more walk, uh, no more gas, gotta walk, end of the road. Yeah, do you remember that with those horrible people? I hated that bit. And that was where we drew when we were underneath the shade. And then this is the guy that helped us. Got picked up by a trucker not far from Haven Point. I was nervous, but the guy was sweet. Even hooked me up with a sandwich. Really needed that boost. I guess he got his face wrong because he wasn't like looking over at him very much. So he couldn't really get his face right. And there's the sandwich. It's got wings. <laughs> Flores is a detective. Ah, okay. Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. He wants to stay with them. I messed up with a reverend. I fell into a trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, what is she doing here? How did she find us? Don't want anything from her, nada. There's Daniel and there's um, the Reverend. And that's the mom. So Karen wants to talk, it's hard, but I'm trying to hear her out. Not sure if I'll ever understand what she's been through or why, what she's after, but I can try. This is her crystals, right? Oh, jeez. We got Daniel finally. Freak the gu the freak guru can go to hell now. Feels so good to be with my bro again. Leaving Haven Point. Point. Karen is taking us to her place. We need to breathe, sleep, heal. Blah 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 blah. Sarah Lee, this needs to go. What what does this bit mean? Blah 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 blah. Uh, and then here is, who is this? Sarah Lee. Oh, it's the girl. It's the girl. I don't know why I put blah, why blah, 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 blah. Oop, oops, sorry. Um, I somehow lost my place in my journal. Where is the blah, 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 blah? <laughs> Am I missing? Oh, it's the wolf, Grin. It's the wolf. It's her nose. It's her nose. <laughs> uh, um, Karen lives in a desert commune. An unincorporated community. It's called Away. Only 30 people live here on and off. This place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing. It's a perfect hideaway. They look like Borderlands characters there. Don't you think? You guys play Borderlands? That's like, they look like they're in Borderlands. In fact, this whole place looks like Borderlands. Daniel's feeling so confused, guilt-tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened, the brainwashing, the lies. Lisbeth's grasp over him. Over his trauma doing my best to help him recover it they should be fine now karen is a big help too she's good with words that letter from jacob and sarah made him happy daniel needs more friends so do i and then sean we're posing what is this is that jacob what they should be fine now oh so that's jacob and his sister they must have gone somewhere to the coast and june the third Total trip to live with Karen again. Uh, she wants to move on. That's easy for her to say I'm trying. Daniel is getting better. I can see he loves having his mom back. So this is where they live. Is it like a caravan? Um, Daniel's power is no secret here. No one cares. They just go along with it and don't see it as something to use their advantage. Refreshing. Uh, and who's going to tell her we're already the crazy sand people? So people here don't care about his power. They're just like, oh, that's a vibe. That's kind of cool. And so this place away is what you make it. Jo Joan um, <laughs> haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing to her best friend, it seems. Cool as heck on ornamental tattoos. And then take my time today. So this is her best friend. And she's got cool tattoos. And this is, a, this is like a sculpture she makes. And then Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper homes in town. They built it together 10 years ago from the ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple with young love. Well, that's very cute. And then got a letter from Cass today. 
Feels good. Would love to hang again someday. So Cass has messaged us. Uh, sent us a letter. And look, he's kind of getting his perspective back. Look, that's perspective. So he must be like learning it again. And this place makes me want to draw. Could stare at the canyons forever. And these are Daniel's drawings. Um, David needs to, Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Lisbeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my eye. Needs help, need finding ways to process this. Daniel needs a lot of therapy. Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top after a long hike across the canyon. Track sessions felt like forever ago. Need to work on my cardio. Don't fall. Oh. Uh, so this is the... Oh, these are the star signs. These are the um, constellations. So this is the Ursia Major. Is that like a bear? And that... Oh, no. I keep doing that. Sorry. I'm very annoying. And then this is the Man Horserias. I don't think that's its actual name. <laughs> Uh, possibly the best view ever. Gonna stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. And then that's the drawing we did at the end there. Um, can I see the letters or anything that we get from people? Like, I want to see the letters. Are they in here? Nah, no, just like my gear. Hmm. I don't think I can see the letters that we got from other people. Sagittarius, ah. Oh man, I'm scared. Yeah, the, the Daniel's got a lot of trauma. They both do, to be honest. You'll be able to read them at Karen's house. Okay, amazing. Um. Oh, I didn't hear what he asked. She's... Uh, Depressology, thank you so much for being for three months and four months in total. Like you. You want to see the what map? Yes, let's do the map. Um. So, that was where Haven's Point was. So we've gone all the way through Nevada. Uh, well, Ca California. Oh, California is quite little, right? Nevada's huge. And then we are in Arizona. Wait, the canyon is here. But Arizona's here. Wait, what are the red lines? I'm confused by this map. This is our total journey to date, though. So there we go. This is the most recent bit here. That's what we've done. What do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. <laughs> it must be weird for her. I didn't want to like stop him talking, you. you know? Can we help Daniel down? I can't believe they went hiking you know, across the canyon myself, together. Right. Hey, let me be the cool. Like that's scary. Like, look at these falls. Oh, look, look. Oh man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, looks like a job for our local super. Hero. Yeah. Daniel, we need your help, hey. buddy. Red lines are highways. Ah, thank so, you. Daniel is tall. <gasps> Daniel is taller. Mm. I'll try. He looks bigger, Step doesn't back. he? Be super careful. Yeah, this place would definitely like. I'm, I'm not especially scared of heights. Oh my gosh, but I would definitely get nervous here. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. I uh, I've got scared of heights the older I've got. I think you just get more scared of stuff like that as you get older. Ali's pretty scared of heights though. He's got like vertigo, so. I'm not scared of heights, I'm scared of falling off. That is it, that is it, Lillian. Me too. Does Sean have stubble? I totally missed that. Oh, he's a, he's a big money now. He's becoming a money. Oh, he does, he's got a little five o'clock shadow. Every time I look at him, I'm like, God, his posture's so bad. And then I realize I'm like this. Wow, his posture is so bad, guys. Oh. This is the strongest Borderlands vibes I've ever had whilst not playing Borderlands. His hair has grown loads, hasn't it? Your hair grows more in the sun as well, right? I can't wait for you to meet a specific character. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. You're obsessed with Away. Would you want to live here in real life? Yeah, Strangerville vibes as well. Yeah, everyone posture check right now. 
You guys are shrimping for Sean. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. So... I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. These are like the little houses in the desert. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. Is that the mom? <laughs> back soon. It is a good place to hide out, I guess. It's like, who's gonna find this place? America's so big. It's like so big. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. I wanna see where we're like living now. So we've got like cards, Daniel's stuff here. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. And uh, he will give him chance. Some cards. It's nice to play games with Daniel. Again. Oh, because they love playing games together, <laughs> don't they? Karen likes to join us too. Is that a gift from when we were? Whoa, he doesn't say anything when he looks at that. Oh, no, he does. To... So that's a mug from when Sean was younger and gave to Karen before she became a Karen. <laughs> Uh, take USB key. Wait, am I doing something bad here? I've got a USB key. I don't know what that means, but um, I have one. We've got some poems. She's really good at rewriting her own life. Oh, what? I am a solo Mobi Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go forward, layered with fear and hope to water the children of the sun. Yeah, I think she is kind of rewriting this one's pretty intense. history a little bit there. I think I get it. Making it about herself, I think, a little bit. Um, don't believe I would find a soul within or without a church. A miracle was sleep and food and a day without. Until it was not. Now we run to celestial spires, oh visions with fake prophet, engulfed in ego and belief. As the burning cross falls on your on all your cruel angels, I am the bonfire of vanity. So when the dam breaks, we all flood. Like glass on a mirage, if I believe. So is that talking a little bit about the church that we saved Daniel from? I don't know. I don't feel like I'm deep enough for poetry. <laughs> no. Oh, jeez. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Stephen. <gasps> this is a letter to her parents. Hi, mom and dad. I've been thinking about this letter for a while. I know it's been a long, long time coming. So I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written 10 years ago. You used to say everything happens for a reason. We thought, thought about it then. I understand why now. There is a reason I feel like I have to reach out to you both tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times by letter for almost a decade. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you and I was certainly not trying to punish me like you told me. Don't laugh, but I just didn't know what to say all right. Poets block. It's like how you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand how hard that was for you to deal with. A problem child. An only child who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden... Wait, she she writes what she really wants to write and then crosses it out again. Uh, the weight of your aspirations as parents failed me too. You had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I didn't have a chance. Opportunity to explore what I really was. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job, a good husband, to settle down, breed, have kids and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view, like you didn't understand your wayward daughter. Maybe a bridge too far for us at that time. After Danny was born, I know you wanted me to take a break to figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to you or dad. Um, I get that, but you didn't see how. I was so desperate and only Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw how happy I was. I don't blame you for your decision to leave and maybe a time out would have led to the same outcome. We will never know and I try not to live in regret. After Danny was born. Hmm. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times that I've longed to hear your voices and thoughts, even the negative ones. And I know that when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help and paying back my debts, you wanted to help. 
but it was on the condition to return back right to where I couldn't return. So she asked her parents for help with money in the past. And they said, only if you come home. So she said, no. I hate that I was our, that was our last conversation. I'm so sorry I reached out to you on that day. I'm so sorry I broke all your hearts. I'm sorry I let you break mine for silencing me for so long. Uh, I think we've paid our dues and now I sit under the blue field of crystal stars like the poet I hope I am. Writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love, crossed out, your daughter. I do think she's a good writer. She's got a nice way with words, doesn't she? Uh, Finn West, thank you so much for being here for three months in a row. Thank you for the re resub. And Sun Singer, thank you so much for being here for four months in a row. Six months in total. Half a year. Half a six months. I can't get enough of your content. And I really think you're the queen of storytelling. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Sun Singer. Yeah, she she very much like writes in like... It's quite airy-fairy writing, but it's nice to listen to. It flows beautifully, you know? It flows beautifully. Neither Karen was desperate for a job. Happy world resort. Or she loved working with kids. And then what else we got? This is her bed. This is where she Karen sleeps. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Where do where do we actually see? Oh, she's been sleeping on the sofa, and we've been sleeping in the bed. So we got some pancakes to eat. One I'm gonna eat Claire because my boy was so thin the last time we Their saw love him. For pancakes. After like being out on the road, and it really took it out of us. So I want to give him some nice pancakes. Nice pancakes time. Um, ooh, we've got hot sauce. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. What? Ugh, gross. Hot sauce on pancakes! Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party. That's so weird! So a Frogo Vag, it was a Frogo Vag, Hufflepuff. A little Frogo call out for you there. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. There's a little post-it note there. I can't read anything though. I think it's just nonsense. A framed poem. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright. Taking the big city bright. Stop. That cliched never dying in the steel of buildings, the rap of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pull of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go. But this time I get to lead until the next flight. Hmm. He understands it quite well, doesn't he? Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Ah, so that's her mm. and her mom. Hard times. Hmm. Wait, that place's name, I can never say. Karen looks so young and fragile on this Kiss picture. Kissing me. Is it called kissing me? Like, kissing mm. me. Is it like that? Hard times. Bailey, thank you for the bits. It doesn't feel like America is big, but uh, could you ever... Uh, you could... You ever could, I recommend going on a road trip. The change of scenery is beautiful. Me and my friends traveled to a little beach in Texas, then went to Mexico, and then to North Dakota. Road trips over airplanes every time. And imagine you and Ali and the pets singing and talking in the car. <gasps> that would be so cute. Oh, that would be Looks really like cool. Looks like they all finally found their home. Oh, and this is everyone that lives there. So that's them. That's their mom. These seem like the couple that built the permanent house, maybe. Wow. It's a cool bunch of people. It is cool, but emphasis on the S. Kissimmee, Kissimmee, Kissimmee. Ah, okay. <gasps> I'm so glad Jacob and his Jacob! sister are doing okay. Wow, that is the worst handwriting I've they ever seen. Hola, seen. Uh, sorry I did not write to you sooner, but it was the first time I've had a chance to relax since we got out of Haven Point, thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room on a small beach at the coast. Sarah C loves it. Uh, Sarah Lee loves it. She's so much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing is my sister, just like your brother. We are lucky to have each other and we were blessed when we both when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our hum, hum, Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everyone is doing okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel have got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. I'm so glad. Did I say scene again? Oh my gosh. I'm so annoying. It's because since being a little kid, I have I'm always so had the issue with calling that name okay. scene. And so I just say it. Place. Hola scene. Stop it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so terrible for doing that. I'm so terrible. Sean. It's literally the Irish spelling as well, right? S-E-A-N. And I still get it wrong. Every time. Every time. Um, I am glad that Jacob's doing well. She was that close. 
Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Pers uh, person to a conversation on your tent. Your ability to submit your poetry manuscript the other way by the deadline. Despite repeated attempts to accommodate you, we regret to inform you that this breach of contract means we will no longer be publishing the collection. As stated in our contract, if the author fails to deliver a, deliver a manuscript by the agreed date, the publisher has the right to recover 10000 in advance. We've also included this letter repayment. Oh no. The rights for your manuscript to read back to the author. So they never got to, she never got her stuff published because she didn't get to finish it before the deadline. And this is our bed. So good to have a home. Normalized spelling it, Sean, Again. for Claire's sake. Did I say I used to say Handle scene? I bed. didn't. I'm so annoying. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. <gasps> oh, this is from Cass. And her song. Oh, that's sexy boy. And no more city boy. That's what she dude. said. Jake hooked me up with the P.O. box, so you can't hide from your old crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital. I'm glad you're still going to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. I hope you get back home soon. Of course, I'm not ready to settle yet, so we're all hanging out in Colorado. The idea is trying to get as far away from the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start stuff and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. I miss you. We'd love to take a road trip. Um, it'd be great to swim with you again. So you better not let me know when you hit Mexico. Don't make me track you down. Here, I'll give you this number so there's no excuses. We've got Cassidy's number. Ooh, okay. Uh, laptop. Karen's tab, Sean's tabs, USB. Uh, swerving the swears. Um, is it, does it reflect badly on my character if I spy on everyone's stuff? Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Eye lube, no. Glad I don't need it as much. I hate that, I hate that. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. It's just a bra scene. <laughs> I know it's Sean, guys, I'm just playing now. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. No, it's fine. It doesn't impact her. And the USB is mine. Okay, cool. I'm gonna check the USB first then. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Can I, can I view any of this stuff? Hey, Dad. Nyla always knew how to crack me up. Oh, so this is what's on his USB. And then... Use USB key or check it? I want to see their tabs. What's everyone looking up? Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. What is a seed pirate? <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Pirate seeds. Oh, Marath. What? Why is it pirate? I don't get it. Karen takes on some small piece. Thank you for your last column. We got quite a lot of response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insight. Looking forward to your next piece. So she does advice columns. Interesting. Um, and then what is, what am I looking up? Brody's so good at describing <gasps> painful situations. It's Brody! And seeing the good into it. The last time I saw my mother before this year, I was telling her to leave me alone. Um, that I was done with the whole family. My real family with strangers I met on the road who became friends, uh, not my family who became strangers. I adopted all of the online connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You would be reading about them right now, except the last time I saw my mother, she was in hospice care at our Utah home. Her body, her, her body light and frail as a web, holding my hand and telling me that she was sorry about everything she kept from us, a whole adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. So I cried, she cried, my brother cried, we all cried. All those years of family nonsense blew away like dust, like that. I wasn't mad anymore, I just didn't know it would be so easy or so hard. It didn't mean the past didn't happen or that I wasn't responsible for my ways. My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal. Because while I was out trying to save the world, we had to take care of my mom and the family estate. Maybe he was right, but he also told me that he had the money to take care of them. But I also told him that he had the money to take care of them. God damn it. If I was in charge of the finances, I would have given away the family estate and we'd be broke living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just so weird. Society tells you to love your parents and siblings simply out of blood and chance. But what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? Um, what if, whatever. It doesn't matter. I've seen the best and the worst of people everywhere I go. 
Uh, Ever a row, you tend to see these extremes at 3 a.m. at an empty gas station or on some desolate freeway. Yes, I've seen strong family bonds in hard times. I know there are big siblings out there to care for their little siblings and vice versa. I think that's about us. Uh, they helped me to understand our fragile Philal ecosystem. Uh, in her final hours, my brother held my mom's thin fingers as she tried to pass to a, a place I hope is a better one from the one she came from. And she was gone. I found a stash of some old school essays and reports. Why I just make up stuff when I read, I swear to God. The only thing I was good at in school, I never knew she kept this stuff or that she cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers know how to make you cry. The first time tears have burned in my eyes in a long time, it felt good. So now I've gone back to a home I vowed once never to return. I don't feel so alienated this time even if I am like I say too often there's a difference between being alone and being lonely now I have an estate to deal with and more responsibility than I actually want but I have to see this as karma or destiny or the drama of the privileged uh Dharma 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 um don't panic I may be taking a break from my life on the wheels just to see who or what I can help now that I have some resources to spread around the world so, so what am I talking about? So recess is spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve, inserts her cousin. If we're still talking about all this memorial bonding. Okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe a hopeful one. And speaking of hope, given the sad state of this sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move out of my comfort zone. Sending, send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with. Places I can explore to tell new stories from. Like Canada or Mexico. Or the road never ends. Maybe we will see him again. I miss you too, sis. And then this is Lila. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. Memes. Me uh, uh, during the day. All good. Under control. Me at 3 a.m. in my bed. <laughs> and free the families. I don't know what she's working on, but it's free. Is it like a legal thing? Free the families. And then thinking of you, Sean. Be seeing you again, then we rage. <laughs> it has been a lot of reading so far. Hopefully you guys don't mind the reading. I like it. And Pia with love. Thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Pia to the peaches, please? Bebe tequila. That means drink tequila, right? Yes. High five. Thank you so much for the five months. Um, oh, so it's Pia. Yeah, Pia. Make sure you say hello to Pia in the chat. And Bebe tequila. I wish I could say much your stream, but this new job um, is working, your girl. Hope you have a good day. Sorry the weather is so tragic. I'll... I'll enjoy the intense Florida heat for you. Don't worry, I'm wearing my sunscreen. Yes, the sunscreen. Love that. You guys like the reading? Okay, brilliant. Thank you so, so much. I'm glad you guys do like that. And I'm so happy that Brody, it's a different vibe for him, but I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Whoa. Myla always knew how to crack me up. Use USB key? Whoa. What's I should have gone through that flash drive. Whoa. Why is it the same thing? Myla always knew Look, how to crack me check up. USB key and use USB key. Whoa. It's the same thing. Myla is that like a bug? Knew how to crack me up. I'm not missing something, am I? Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. I've done both. It's bugged, yeah. Like, if I check the USB key... Whoa. Whoa. I should have gone through that And if I use the USB ago. key... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. <laughs> so much. Whoa. Um, I think we've explored everything in here, which is pretty cool. I don't think I could live in a space like this because I bang my knees like 12 times a day anyway. Arthur and Stanley probably and I think I just get back. really vexed with banging my knees and my ankles all the time. Oh, they grow their own crops. I'm kind of digging that though. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. I wonder what they're growing. Oh yeah. That we looks like basil. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe peppers? Don't know what those are. This is vibey though. I like all the growing crops and stuff. Whoa! I love the whoa. <laughs> We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Oh, the little stickers to tell you what you're growing. And then maybe these are little tomatoes. I'm growing tomatoes and hot chili peppers at the moment. <gasps> Look who's here. <gasps> your knee. Oh my gosh, your knee out again. Hello, baby chicken. Looking at this place. Oh, my vaccine. I see that Karen oh, yeah. really Let wanted to get away from Isn't it quite high off my arm? <laughs> Literally. Yeah, it's quite high up. 
They say the higher they do it, the no. cooler you are. <laughs> Mine's higher. Mine was almost on my, t my TB job, but you don't have a TB job, Scar, do you? Next, I'm not a nerd. Uh, only the cool kids get TB vaccines. <gasps> Wait, come here, Lexi. <laughs> Little baby. Uh, final episode of Life is Strange. Ooh, nice. Thanks. Alexi Lubrish, you can pick the stickers up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello. Hello. Let's grab some of these. I feel so sorry for his eye. Your shot was higher up too. That means you're in the cool gang, according to Ali. According to Ali and Ali's rules. The water tank. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. What? Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Wow, Killjoy Daniel. <laughs> Those solar Pretty panels. Smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. That is true. I saw a graphic, um, like today, I think, that showed the amount of solar panels you would need to power the world. And it genuinely isn't anywhere near as many as I thought. It was showing it on a map of Africa, and it was so tiny. It like, it really wasn't that many, but I guess maintaining them would be a bit of a nightmare. I hope the UFOs are listening. What are they listening out for? Oh, look at this, David's trailer. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. Okay, and then whose little house scene is this? Don't do bud, please. <laughs> Daniel's drawing. Hey, Maybe your captain you spirit drawing. Tell me, a few people have recommended tell me why. Was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Aww. Do you think he could visit us down in Oh, it's a drawing of Chris. Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. It's little Chris. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. I want him to be excited for Mexico. Morning, Sean. And maybe in the Morning, future guys. he could. You never know, you know? Maybe he could see Chris again. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Life is a journey. Better stay home. <laughs> We've got fireworks. This is their house. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. And is this like their little house? It's so cute. It's actually mad cute. <gasps> a burp house. There's a little burp house here. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Yeah, how many burbs are actually ever gonna find this house? You missed a chance to draw. Where can I draw? Can I draw on here? Where was the drawing opportunity going? I should bring the telescope back to the stand before I forget. Where is it on here? On the top of Karen's trailer. Ooh, what's like ah? <laughs> I bit my lip really hard. There's some water filters. This is such a weird fucking. <gasps> oh, thank you guys. I never would have got that. Oh, uh, I just actually grinded the side of my mouth with my teeth so badly. So we get to draw, what's this place called again? Away, so that we can always remember it. <gasps> Your koi fish had babies. You got six baby koi, that's so cute. Well, kitten Luna, I love that. Okay. Your baby Just fishies. Draw now. Don't think about anything else. Kind of vibey up here. I hope we don't end up with any mm. more missing limbs and scars before today's episode want. ends. Why is there casually just a chair there? Probably for moments like this, to be honest. Can we add something cool to it? Draw a wolf pack or biomechanical fantasy. I want to draw the biomechanical fantasy, but this episode is called Wolves and we have a wolf tattoo, so I think we should draw a wolf pack. See, there we go. <gasps> and a wolf looking out over it all. 
I wish I could draw as well, Hannah. You, everyone can draw, you just gotta put time and patience and practice in, right? You'd have a chair on your roof as well. It would be quite vibey now having I a little chair on the roof. Now I can see why Karen lights it out here. Has he got a little watery eye? It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. So Borderlands. Except just this tiny one. So Borderlands. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. I can't really imagine Esteban Get living out her. here. I think Esteban likes. Still don't know how I feel. People and like working on the cars and being around folks, you know. It is very vibey. It would be quite cool to build something like this in Sims. Maybe make Strangerville a little bit more like this. But I did play a bit of the Walking Dead game. Um, I've played the first couple of chapters of it. I tried the Game of Thrones game too. I could get used to that scene. Sean does look a lot like his dad. Um, shall I go and speak to these guys? Hi, Stanley. Hi, Arthur. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. <laughs> and Kanye will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Should we be leaving soon, or...? I don't want to, like, tell people my plans. I still feel quite secretive Does about my plans. Come visiting often? Yeah, he just ripped the telescope out of his pocket. Not as like, much as I'd want. Men's really pockets, am I right? But, you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Oh, I like his tattoos. Christmas, for example. Why come here? I want to know why they're here, yeah. Because did they establish this place? So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. It looks great but I for didn't 60, think they disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? That is hot coffee, jeez. <sighs> How was he drinking After we that? got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. <laughs> My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. <laughs> I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. So are these Thanks two, the were they there group. first? Did they set up the colony? The colony! Did they set the place these up? These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird... In a weird hippie way. <laughs> <laughs> You think they picked this up at the gas station? We don't know station? what's happened to Finn. I hope not. It was nice that at least we got final closure with him, you know? <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure Silky, wish we thank had you for the bits. Now. Wasn't David was Chloe's stepfather from Life is Strange 1? Really? Nah, no way. No way that's him. I don't think so. That would be a very big change if so. <gasps> Look at the flags. Now that's some real patriots. Hmm. It looks hand painted as well. The flags look painted. Yeah, I don't think it's the same David. Nobody's property. 
I'd get nervous out here. Like, what if there was like a fire, or like some people came to try and like steal here. from them? Hey, like, Sean. there's no protection. It scares me. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. Why is it weird? Oh, kind of normal. You know, it's actually normal for people. It, the barbecue was blocking my options. Right. I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. I think he just thought it was weird because they were like old people kissing. I think that's what he uh, he was focusing on there, but I just had to make sure. I had to make sure. Have a little sit here as well. I'm just going around having a little plant, plant in my, plant, plant in my butt everywhere. This Thank you, K. Gilly, for the posture check. It's kind of like a desert mirage. Uh, would you get a bit bored here, guys? You think you can see it? Three posture checks. The oh my you gosh. Get. It changes. What do you guys reckon? Could you live here? I think I'd get a bit bored. I don't know. I'd miss like going out for a meal in a restaurant, maybe, and that kind of thing. A sun drawing, a little sunshine. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. There's no kids for them either. You guys are torn. You guys are pretty torn. Um, I know I need to go to Juan's, but should I explore the rest of the village first? Like, how does it work? Welcome to Away. Leave the past today. You, you can forever stay. The Founding Sisters. Huh. Population question mark. Established in 1975. You guys are told. Some of you think it's very this calming. This part of town is dead this time of year. Oh, it won't let me go any further. Let's just stay around here. Okay. It won't let me go that way. Which just sucks because I wanted to go to that cool circular house. Billy Sims, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you were gifted by Billy Sims, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Welcome, new peachy. I'd be bored and hot. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the heat, I don't think. Although, you would be sweaty a lot, wouldn't you? Okay, those guys are there. He's using his power right now. Um, here is a little board Karen game. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. I bet you get really good at chess. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. A movie theater. Love watching movies under the stars. <laughs> That's quite like cool. Like a drive-in with no cars. And then here's some artwork. Dude, remember when you totally fell okay. asleep that Bollywood flick? <laughs> what? These are quite freaky. So after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. Whoa. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> These are her sculptures. We what do we Joanne think? Set up this Don't know if I put it in my garden. With binoculars. That's David I like the idea of removing it for myself from the town a bit, but I don't know about the desert. I moved out of London for the same reason. I, I just wanted something a bit quieter. With everyone building stuff as they please. Okay, let's go check these guys out. This is Joanne's RV. I want to call her Joan so bad. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Joan and scene. <laughs> Joan and scene at the characters in my game. Okay, and look, he's just using his power wild and freely. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. Do you guys think I should recognize her? That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Just doodles. <sighs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. That's a nice way to look at it. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. 
<laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. <sighs> okay. Whenever sure. the wolves come up, I feel panicky, like, ah, oh, did go. I do a good thing or no? I don't no. know. Go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. I'm Autopy. Thank you so much for subscribing with your prize. So Queer welcome. I'm Autopy to the Peaches, I'd please. I'd love to see Thank if you, you can so connect these three pieces. Oh, jeez. I made a model of what I have in mind here. But go ahead and be the artist. Oh, jeez. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. You want to live here so Hell fast, yeah. Perry? Well, Let's do this. Okay, so apparently I'm making an art sculpture. Um, should I just do it based on what she's done? Or should I just YOLO it and do my own thing? What do you reckon? A metal head, a metal arm, and a metal belly. Hmm. I guess we add that. Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Cheese. Daniel's moving big bits now. Oh, I've done it wrong. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I put. I hey, thought nope, we'll. Nope. No. Ah, uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. See, Sean. <gasps> He's speaking Spanish. Daniel's actually speaking a bit of Spanish. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna put the belly on first. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. He is going to see. That's so cute. I like that. Oh, and then. Totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. The spider on top. Okay, let's do the spider mm. on top then. Now, let's move. Mr. Pancake's head. Bailey, the thank you for the bits. Oh, right now I can hear wild Daniel. birds chirping and cows. The only reason why I don't know if I would ever go back to the city. One of my um, ships, Ethel, gave birth to a lamb a few days ago. Ditching the city and only animals oh, is a dream I come true, bestie. Bailey, this. that sounds so sweet. Clever. Your little Looks ship like having a little baby steampunk love. Spider. That's so Sean cute. I love her. Oh. Keep watching. Summon the Spider Queen. There he goes. It helps my relationship with Daniel if I do what he says. I'm kind of doing that anyway, just because I'm not. It's not as deep to me. But if he wants a spider head, he can't do. What do you think, Daniel? Any more feedback? No. Yo, can you turn that that uh, spider thingy around? Watch this. Yeah, perfect. Looks great. What do you think, Daniel? I mean, she let me YOLO it however I, feel I want, like we're so... almost done. Well, I think this is it. I Let's did the arms on top of the head because that's the what Daniel asked rooms. for. Oh, yeah. It's super cool. Thanks for listening, Are you getting that, Papa? Yeah, yeah. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you did a great Who's job. Who's that at the door? I think well, it's a delivery. Sean, it's in, Daniel, it's, 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 uh... I think art might be in your family DNA. It's in real life, not in the There's game. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for It's your a help. horrible sculpture, okay. guys. It's a horrible sculpture. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Joanne is so chill about her art. What That's now? what makes her talented. I, I, I feel like something's like about to go really wrong. It, it's kind of like this. Is he trying to make us yeah, play Minecraft again? I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. <gasps> the fl the flamingo from Sims is here. <laughs> Why does it sound like a hospital phone? Does it? Patriot it's just when someone rings the gate. <laughs> I don't know where I go now. It won't let me go to the rest of town. Do I head back to our little caravan? Your trouble is so nice. Our house is like... Rie, 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 rie. 
That's not Karen, that's Joanne. Yeah, I did call her Joan again. I feel like I called her Joan again. I don't know what to do next. Is there something like I've missed? Karen letting us invade her space. Yeah, I don't know what to do. After all these years. It is very strange of vibes. That's something. <laughs> Talk to them again. Ooh, swap box. It's so cool that people want to give a second well, life to their stuff. Huh, so if you don't want something life. anymore, you put it in that box. Treasure. Um, okay. 10-4. Okay. Oh, he's up You're there. Right, I know. What am if I doing? If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes! Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Listen carefully. Oh, God. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. What is the Saxon? Deal. So, for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. With many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's your clue? You can do it, big brother. Is it around here? <laughs> I hope. Don't bother checking mom's trailer. Love the energy out here. <laughs> with everyone building stuff as they please. I'm playing a game with them. I thought it would be in here. Many wings that cannot fly. What has many Getting wings but closer. cannot fly? Getting closer. You're warming up. I'm warming up. I would sound so judgmental and sarcastic. But she just never joke. goes there. And still makes it fun Many to wings but oh. cannot... Hey, she might write advice columns for a living. She's still a poet. A little pathos plant. It's the birdhouse. Is it in here? I'm gonna ask him for another clue. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? <laughs> the item is under the building that will blow you. Down. The building that will blow me down. What is he talking about? Oh, many wings but cannot fly. Warm. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. <laughs> I think we got it. I don't even know what game I'm playing with up here because I missed the setup. Koshka, thank you so much for being for three months with your prime. I'm so happy to watch these streams. Always bring a little bit of sunshine to my day. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out with the three months with your prime, my love. Ahoy, matey. I oh, he's meant to be a pirate. Of a way. Oh, we'd get on yeah. well with Clem. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other parts. Okay, what's the <sighs> next it. clue? Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Solar uh -huh. panels. Sure. It's gotta be right. I'm doing a treasure hunt. Okay. Not too far. Not too far. Not. You're in the middle zone. His voice is cracking me up. Where is it? The clue. We got it. Okay, Do we, is it tracing paper? We gotta put them on top of each other. So, that's the movie th wait. That's the little house. That's Karen's house. Then the X is across from the sculptor's Found house, it. Joanna. Nice. Joanne. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up the other papers. Where's the accent gun? Captain Diaz. Oh, boy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. <laughs> now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Dig your way. Oh, you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Okay, is it in here? You told me everything about treasure hunting. <laughs> this place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Uh, maybe a little bit further? What? Okay. This way? Here? Just grab it! You're here! Look it! I'm looking! Where? Is it just grab it? 
This reminds me of the tr junkyard from Life is Strange 1. Oh, it's buns! It's buns! I'm looking for it, Daniel, but I can't see it. Guess people came here with ease and never left. Glad be blind for a million. I'm searching! Is it? It's surely it's dig it. It's on the floor, right? It's buried treasure. I'm trying, Daniel! I'm looking! I am! Where? Is it on the other side? Where? I can't see it. Uh, it burns. It burns. You're warm. You were so close. Go back. I'm gonna. It was right next to me. Trust it's under the car. Rabbits. You're here. Do I have to uh, crouch? It burns. Where? Look around. I'm looking. I can't see anything. Under the car. Uh, it burns. Next to the barrels. It's close, Sean. Nothing. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so hard to see. Wait, no, not the cars, the treasure. I can't, I can't make him look at the treasure. He just keeps looking at the cars. Look, it's there. Uh, it but he keeps doing, oh my gosh, if he says You're it warm. burns one more time, I'm gonna throw him into a fire. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. I've annoyed him. A son. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. <laughs> I found this under an old trailer. It looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Time Fair for me to have a meal, because that was hard work. Is he doing Come a Fortnite on, dance? dance? Is he actually doing a Fortnite dance to me right now? <laughs> yeah. You asked for it. He was like... <laughs> oh my gosh. It burns! It burns! Shut up, Daniel! Shut up, Daniel! There we go. I'll put it on oh, my backpack. I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Yeah. Burns. Daniel is such a gamer. He's such a gotcha. gamer. We'll help such with the a gamer. Get down from there. You're making me nervous. We have to help unpack the groceries? Is, is the mom back now? Is she coming back? <gasps> we got some recycling boxes. As if they still recycle here. That's so cool. Head back to help it and pack the burst groceries. <laughs> Billy Sims, thank you so much for being for five months in a row. High five! So then here, Chugs, you and the Peaches love this game so much. Not that particular moment though. That particular moment was stress. What happens if I stand in front of the truck? I did not get the opportunity. Wait a minute, who's this? I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. Uh, well, I'm, Mom, I'm literally right here. Hey. Glad to see you survived hey. the night in the Morning. desert. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> now he looks like... Returned with he looks like the guy from the first Capital. one. Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you Looking reckon it is? Good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. 
I'm not hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Is it him? Hey, thanks, Angel. No here. way. Ah, uh, you're the man, It Karen. looks and talks Catch just later. like him. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Amazing. I want to speak to him amazing. so badly. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Wow. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a it kid. It does look like him. And play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. Did I save him You've in mine? I feel like I did, him. right? About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared Did he have that tattoo before? Critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither, or you're scared. I'm me neither. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. That's the but same face. You trained him well. An He's old soldier! You, he served. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. Yeah, you did. I try to be a good <laughs> influence. Not always easy, but... He listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Nah, used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death left her heartbroken. It Same is. Same for me. It is. We just. Couldn't put our pieces back That's together. That's Chloe. After what happened. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Before she died. We were like... How does it know that I made that choice? And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. It asked me before I started. Oh, no. did it? Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Wow. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> so this is like a little nod. Because I know people were really annoyed Catch that this later, Life Sean. is Strange <gasps> wasn't based on Chloe and Max. <gasps> okay. But I'm like really glad it wasn't. I wanted <sighs> new characters. I'm melt. I that like these stories awesome, each Mom. time. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. So milk. after no Chloe dies, he comes out here. That's wild. Very cool that they added that in. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't mm. get too cozy here. This is a... Temporary stop. Rest stop. Yeah. I know. Tyler, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Tyler to the Peaches? And Silky, I looked it up on the website. It is David from the first game. I think that's very cool, though. I like that they've done that a lot. Who is their shopping That's list? That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Decaf cough? No decaf, yes. <laughs> Trail mix, a mouse trap, watermelon, chocolate crisp, baking soda, foot powder, shea butter, turmeric, ibuprofen. Uh, ooh, condoms and USB cord, dry cat food. Oh, there's a cat here! And sunscreen, measuring tape, AC filters, and roasted nuts. I would totally be gem. <laughs> That's my shopping list, more or less, to be honest. Um... I guess we go outside and chit chat with folks. Hope now. my crops will make it. Getting a bit of frame rate jobs, but hopefully it's okay for you guys. 
Can we welcome Tyler to the peaches, please? Thank you, guys. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Too remote for me or everybody's cool, it's another world. Everybody is cool so far. <laughs> everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not gonna get in your space. They have their own past too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. What's that? If Chloe was alive, you would see an upgraded version of her and Max in his place. And he calls her. No way. He's got pictures of her. Oh, no way. I still feel like I did the right thing by saving Arcadia Bay, but geez, that is a punch in the gut, isn't it? It is so peaceful out here. Daydreaming, thank you so much for the four months. Guess Loving all the different games you're playing really lately. Thank for. you so much, Daydreaming. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I can't live here, how did you- I want to know how she found this so, place. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but... Her name is still written all over this place. <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. I wish I'd seen the picture. <sighs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is oh, everything David's wife would be okay? dead instead. Oh, jeez. <sighs> yeah, I just thought we could Gosh. spend the day together. Yeah, because everyone just else in Arcadia Bay died. Wow. Big brother to Superwolf. Her mum was really nice as well, wasn't we she? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Feels like music Hola. should be here. Oh. Hola, compadre. He's saying a lot more Spanish. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Why do I feel like something's gonna go terribly wrong? It can't just stay this nice and then they, we stay in a way forever. Something's gotta happen, right? Something has got to happen. Thank you for the Porsche check, Melly. I am, I do have my knee up, which is not good. A Squiddy, thank you so much for it for three months in a row. It's already three months and my name's Maggie too. I love you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for two months. And the name is, uh, the name is Snix. Thank you so much for being here for two months. Thank you for the resub. Don't want to get spoiled, so just stop stopping by to say hi. Hello. Uh, yeah, if you're playing it yourself, definitely don't get Should spoiled. We're on the final episode, especially. It was so perfect. Uh oh. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Wait, why are we walking in the desert at this time? This feels like a really good opportunity to get bitten by snakes, you know? This has snake energy all about it. Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Come on, Come on, Daniel. Where, wait, where is he gone? Oh my gosh, where is my brother? We've lost him, Mom! Daniel? Guys. Oh, he's there. Check this out. Now this is nature's art. How can you see anything? It's so dark. It's so big. 
Oh my gosh, it's just making me nervous because I can't see the edge. And so quiet. Where, where are you guys? Except for the birds of prey. <gasps> Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Shh. Listen. Yeah. <gasps> the stars! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Maybe one will reply. Uh oh. I hear a wolf. Huh? Better be careful of hunters out here. The Wolf Brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. Neon Elfish, thank you so much for the for 10 months. All the high time. fives. Thank There's you so not much. A lot to do, but it's Hope you've had a good 10 months. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. Hmm. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. <laughs> You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah. You were just complaining about like being too slow at the start, so Daniel. Hurry up. Look, you can put these cactuses down in Sims 4. I think they're a debug cactus. <laughs> I placed them at that Spanish house I did. In fact, a bunch of these plants look like they came straight from Sims. Kind of a bit of a similar graphic style, really. Like, slightly clay-esque. Oh my gosh, why would you turn your torch off here? As someone that doesn't like the dark, they're seriously freaking me out right now. I don't like it one bit. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. Why do I feel so I nervous? Bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. They're making me really nervous. Beanbug, thank you so much for three months in our laurel and 11 months in total. 11 months is unbelievable. I can't believe it's all been, it's been a year I've been sub to you. You've really helped me so, at the moment because I'm going hey, through some mental health issues. Every I do I appreciate you, I feel so much that better. you guys stuck around this I'm long. glad, Beam. Thank you. You helped us a lot or got to know you better? I don't want to make her feel bad. It's so pointless. You actually helped us. She did save our lives. You gave us a like, place to recharge. And I don't think we can change her at this point, you know? Lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time no, for yourself. I'm actually just turning my lights down. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are and where you're going. Because I can't see it. So I'm just going to turn some of my lights down. Uh, a bit more vibey now. A bit more vibey. I guess she could come with us. Uh, by the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us. I can see it a bit better now. To Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. Does that mean she is coming? But I have to be upfront with both of you. Mm. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. Uh oh. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. We need to go. And they'll find us. We've well, got to go. Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Is she gonna come? Help us? You can't I'm abandon us again. Bag, Sean. That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, Are they paper lanterns? I love those things! Don't they start like, um, forest fires and stuff and bush fires? Aren't these a really bad idea? They're pretty, but I've heard that they're a terrible Whoa, for the environment. Awesome. Cool. They are very cool though. Let's light up the sky. Yeah, they're just the worst idea. 
Let's just send some fire into the environment. You can still get bushfires and stuff though. Of all the places to burn them, this is probably one of the better places, but they can go for a long way, you know? Very pretty moment though. You're currently replaying all of Life is Strange before Life is Strange 3 and the remaster collection comes out. Even though I've played all the games before, I still feel like watching the gameplay spoils it for me. I don't know why. Hope you're enjoying replaying them. And Joyful Praise Mom, thank you so much for being here for three months in a row at Tier 2. Thank you so much for your Tier 2 support, Joyful Praise Mom. I feel really, really praised by your wonderful support. Thank you so much. I really enjoy your YouTube videos and your sweet spirit. I can't wait. For us, see where the future leads you. Oh my gosh, wow, that's so sweet. Thank you so, so much. And thank you so much for hanging out with me for three months. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I feel very stressed for the boys now. <laughs> I haven't made them in Sims. No, I haven't made them. I feel dead nervous for them. Their final morning. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. Is she gonna come with us? How far is the border, or what will you do now? What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom. We'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. Oh, gosh. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules. She's finally gone mama no bear. What? I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is yeah, your life. Yeah, she's trying to redeem herself. Don't let anybody get in the way. Dad didn't raise us this way or we'll do whatever it takes. Oh, geez, this feels like a big moment. Do we go by how Esteban raised us, or do we not let anyone get in our way? I don't feel like... I don't feel like that's... Oh! It's good advice if you're on the run, but, like, I want to stay true to Esteban, you know? Yeah, I don't love her, but it's a good decision. It is a good decision. I think option one... This is really hard. I feel stressed. Is uh, How much impact do my choices have from this point onwards? 
Esteban would want you to stay safe. I don't know. Dad didn't raise us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban had a lot more faith in the system than me. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Wait, when did we talk about um, that? What did we talk about? You should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Oh, guys, I feel stressed. I feel stressed. I feel stressed. I feel stressed. <laughs> right to Karen. Ooh. Wait, I just got $100. How did I just get $100? I am gonna be so nice in this letter because I feel like this is probably the last time she might hear from us in a long time. Hey, mom. That's the first time he's I know ever you're called her mom. With words than me, but still, here it goes. I think I finally get you. Thanks for Daniel. I'm gonna say thanks for Daniel. It was so good for Daniel to see you again. He needed that more than anything. Sorry for getting you. Don't give up on your freedom. Please don't give up on your freedom. Okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. We've not really had much action Sean. so far. It's been much more reading and talking Sean. this time, hasn't it? There we go. We've got a nice letter. I think she'll appreciate that. Keep it as it is. And look on the fridge. Okay, I'll look on the fridge. I feel my stress levels are high as well. I wish I could like quick save. If something goes wrong, should I just close the game? Old gift. Hmm. Not this fridge though. I don't need to look at this fridge. It's David's fridge. Still can't believe she's right. It. Okay, when David gets a phone call, listen in. It's important. The calm moments make me stressed as well. So I go okay, speak to David. Don't forget about David. Is this right? the right thing to do? I'm scared too. I'm scared. I can just go in. Look at everything in David's trailer. <laughs> Sean. Hey. How has he Dan changed said you so much? To see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Okay, so I have to look at everything in this house. Okay, okay, okay. Police scanner. Picture. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. Well, harsh. Okay. A letter. I feel you, David. Dear Joyce, my Joyce, dear Joyce, it's great to get your postcard. You shall get around now. I wish I was. I, w I wish I was with you on our honeymoon. I wish, I hope you are seeing the world and like you wanted. I wanted to see. I know our lives are so different now, but I think, but I hope we can. Everything is just so different. I hope one day we can just have a beer and shoot it like before. Miss you. Wow. Where's the postcard? I want to see the postcard. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Where's the postcard? Is it this? That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. 
proud of you, brother, up and away, Steve. Do we know who this character is? So he doesn't drink anymore. He does still love her, yeah. It's hard, you can still love, person, uh, love a person but not manage to get through like the death of a child. Like, it's probably the worst yeah. thing, right? Me and David won't be sharing any playlist. There's a box up there, but I'm just gonna double check everything else first. Weird. <laughs> Didn't know David was so punk rock. And before the storm, David mentions that guy. Ah, uh, what's in the box? What's David doing with that? Creepy Nathan dude. Prescott. Nathan is the guy from The Last Life is Strange, right? Nathan. So that's another little call out to Life is Strange one. Is that, have I got everything? Have I, have I seen everything? That's Chloe's this sign. This place has too many adults. Oh, that was from Chloe. But I'm gonna miss it. I think that's everything. So he's got Chloe's sign up in his bathroom. Oh, car plate. <laughs> Didn't think he'd be the type of guy to get custom plates. Is that Chloe's plate as well? Wow. I think that's everything. Let's just look at this one last time. Must be his ex-wife. Jeez. Yeah, Nathan He's was a bad so guy. Much since this. He was being also manipulated as well, right? Should I take this? Should I grab this? The rich privilege guy. Yeah, he was like, we thought he was the antagonist from Life is Strange 1, but it actually like ended up being more the teacher, right? Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Can I twist things? Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so we can hear what the police are doing. Nah, nothing there. Another hit from the backwoods on Dusty Rocks FM. How can you No. Nope. nope. Definitely not. 136. <laughs> Listening. We've got reports of a 10 10 Wait. Down by is this it? Sam's? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. <laughs> so I guess David had that. You guys have to listen to his phone call. Should I leave now? Our last little look of this place. Sweet creature, thank you so much for being here for four months with your prime. You just started a new job, haven't been able to catch your stream live as, as often, but I love relaxing, catching up once I've done. Thank you for being one of the best parts of my day. Hope your new job is going well, and sweet your mom's creature. mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No... Surprises on your way to the border. All right, this is the fastest route. When you get there, I so I whenever I hear route instead of routes, these it's just two stations. Like, it always takes me off guard. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. Maybe short but superpowers. But Aaron's car pocket. should be okay. <laughs> you got all that? Hmm. Wait, what did he just say? Sure. I think so. Sean. You have to know, the police are on your ass. You, you only get one chance here. What did he say? I'm not trying to be a dick. <laughs> Just honest. I got distracted I by know, his dude. superpower being big pockets. Thanks. Here, have a seat. His chest tattoo says in memory. He has a tattoo for Chloe on his chest. don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. 
But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? I'm kind of intrigued by him. Yeah. Like, what's happened in between? Some rich fucking kid shot her at school, where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. He gets a big redemption arc, Sean, really. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. This feels like a bad idea. Sooner than later. Turn ourselves in? Does it, if I click that, will he literally turn himself in? Why is he telling us to do this? Tina Caliente, thank you so much for being four months in a row, five months in total. Hope you've had a good five months, my love. Uh, I don't know, like, there's no actual physical evidence that we killed that cop. And the way court cases go is they have to prove beyond reasonable doubt. However, with it being a cop that got killed, I don't think things are going to go the way that they should do. You know? I don't know. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to... Be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. If the end credits on and me and Daniel, Daniel picking crops fast. as 30 year olds in Mexico, I'm be so mud. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. Oh, he's getting a phone call. You guys said I got to listen to this. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Can I hear any of the call? Yeah, I'm good. Finally done setting up those solar panels. Don't worry, I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. She worrying about him. You got that right. How about you? Oh, uh, any news from the vet? The vet? Do they have a pet? Good, that's a relief. Hope I can see that little boy next time I swing by Santa Rosa. Have they got a doggo? Or a kitty cat? Nah. Still haven't heard anything. Just hope they won't let him out. Oh, he's in prison. 
Nathan's in prison. Well, no lawyers. Can't expect much. I do look very sus. Sure. Okay. Take care. Talk soon. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't want to know I was listening in. <laughs> what do I do now? David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. He is kind of tough to figure out. Okay, let me check. Go into the car and leave town. That's it. That's literally it. Can I try not to look sus? Stood exactly outside the house, just listening. One last time. I'm just gonna see if there's anything in my like book that I haven't read. We've seen this. We've seen all of these. Yeah, there's nothing new. Treasure hunt. When did he find the time to do all this? Sunlight of future nightmares. Oh, because it's creepy looking. <laughs> and then. Be art, do crimes. Cool to hang out with Joanne for a bit. Crimes, crimes. Cute. And then that was such a pretty scene, wasn't it? So pretty. One last night away. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. Oh, guys, what do I do? After all this time. Do I just game. leave now? I'm gonna hey. have one last moment oh, with me. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. Truck will make it, or I didn't know you were a gearhead. I mean, Esteban probably taught her, right? <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. Say goodbye to the others, okay. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Ever been there together? I wish he was here. Do you think they ever went? I kind of don't want to know. Did you guys ever- I did write Karen a note, yeah. Go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. Scary. At least he's got the language. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. Not sure if I can do this, power freaks me out. Oh, I just want this over. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. He does. And you guys are gonna have to work together. Is this trying to tell us how to play it? Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Okay, let's try and speak to everyone. Are those guys still here? They are. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say I feel adios. like they put all these We're cool characters in and you don't actually get today. to see them for very no, long, you're do you? Not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. 
too risky or we've got to cross that border. Yeah. I don't want to tell people where we're going. But it's too risky. I'm still being careful. Especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? I don't know if we can ever come to this country again, but okay. We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. What happens when we get there? I'm scared Shit. for them. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Leaving everyone. Oh man. Where's Joan? Was Joan over here? Mm, I don't know. Come on. If I'd have just got in the car and left, I would have hey. not said goodbye to anyone. What's going on? Mm, they would be good dads. Taking they? a look at this baby with hindsight. They are though, with Becky. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. Oh, <laughs> good. That makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel you did inspire me. I love it. So, <laughs> you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. I bet they just enjoyed having actual kids in the town, because it's just this all is adults, all isn't it? Really? Whoa. Wow. That's great. Uh, oh, Willif. Do I get anything? <laughs> Your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Could we make money with our art? Is that going to be okay. enough, though? One big hug. In Mexico? And get out of here before we all start crying There's a huge like choice babies. near the end. <gasps> don't spoil it, but give me some Thank hints. You. Give me some hints. I don't mind Join hints. for everything. Just please take care of yourself. Hints and my fine. special hints apprentice. We love a good one. No worries. We do. We always do. Hey. Day. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Dill Pickle, thank you so much for the four months in a row. I love watching your videos and streams on YouTube. I hope you know you help so many people with things going on in their lives, and it's always an amazing I'll safe space so for us much. all. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much, Dill. I'm glad that you have a safe place to come hang out with us here. So much fun and I've got to choose on my own. Things with you. Me too. So hints of spoils. I'm so worried about getting it wrong though, guys. Then I'll just regret and I've will regret like 20 hours of work. And that will be so bad. Any any little cheeky hints? The end will end will impact Daniel the most. The relationship with Daniel and how you guys talk with each other is really important at the end. Then we play it again and do it different. The ending if Daniel is high or low on, mor on morals. But I don't know what he is. He's being sweet and nice to everyone here. That's a good thing, right? You guys saying I can hug Karen before we leave? Oh, I don't think I get the option. I think I probably will. Have I said goodbye to everyone? Just do what you think is right. It really depends on Daniel. I don't think I can say bye to da Dave, uh, David again. I think that's it. You can have crazy endings. He's listening to you, so that's okay. Am I all done? Three bad endings and three good endings. I just want a happy ending for the boys so much. He didn't hurt the church lady. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't. I'm gonna get in the car, guys. 
Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. They're like Kinda my sad. children. Yeah. Are we leaving yet? I want them to. I we want it to. to I just want Come them here. to have a happy ending. A safe ending where they don't um, need to be so stressed all the time. I. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Oh, guys, I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I am so stressed. Well, I am so stressed. Sean, this is it. You're not helping with my stress, Mom. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That was easy. I made a good easy Thanks choice for there. For being Easy there. choice. Thanks for letting me, son. We're showing Daniel the power of forgiveness and also giving ourselves something. Even if it's not perfect, sometimes you just deserve a hug, you know? Let's sometimes you just wrong. deserve to move on and move forward. Goodbye, David. crash the car into the telephone post then. This hurts. Bye everybody! Get in the car, Daniel. You're stressing me, I'll get in. I would never own pay till the end. <laughs> What do they say though? Sometimes being bitter is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Oh, the, the only person it hurts is yourself. Sometimes it's hard though. Oh gosh. How close am I to the end? Am I close? Can we do some chats? You're close. Oh gosh, I can't. Guys! Do I have to make quick hey. decisions? Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? New home. No more running. Um, as long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I've gotta be act fast. That's what I get stressed about. I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you. Not everybody likes you. I'll teach you. Everyone does like him. Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I've heard of Duolingo, Daniel. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. 
I'm trying not I to trust. lie to him. Everybody, he has fit in everywhere. Everyone has liked him. That wasn't a lie. They got cute noses, don't they? Naomi, thank you so much for the three months. Hey there, we stand Spain Claire. Yes. I'm worried about making fast decisions. That's what I'm stressed about. That's what I'm really stressed about. He looks sad and worried to me. Go with your gut. What if my guts are all wrong? Look at his stubble, it's growing now. Please don't be police cars, please don't be police cars. I'm letting him drive. This is stressful. <laughs> this is stressful. Should I be letting him drive? How much petrol do we have? I didn't pay attention to where David told me to go. <gasps> I low-key didn't think there was an actual that wall. <laughs> looks so big. Wow. There is an actual Dude, wall. It's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on away, <gasps> there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. Oh god. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. How do we get the car over? Sean, why would they arrest mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. Oh, I gosh. hope so. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. How do we get over it? Hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. We do know. That sucks. Do I do I use his his power on the panels? Daniel is asking some tough questions. <sighs> Racism warning ahead. The wall. <gasps> this is the opposite of Seattle. Is Daniel gonna get to smash the We're wall? We're at the end of America. Wait, you guys saying I need the supplies? I couldn't get them though. I all I could do was look at them. I can't do anything with the supplies, can I? He's gonna break the wall, then we're gonna drive through, right? Be really careful. Shit. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. Oh gosh, do I get him what? to destroy it? Do I destroy it? Is there another way I can do it? Or is this the only way? Nasisia, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much for being here for two months in a row. Go for it. Do 
So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. Why didn't they drive a bit closer? You can do it. This is what we've been training for. Break the wall. That's got to be so strong, though. Surely this is going to take it out of him. Dude, it's hard. Oh, if you can't do it, it's okay. Don't hurt yourself. I feel like he's going to hurt himself. It's all right. Take your time. Stay. Why don't they just drive down and see if they can find a weak opponent in it or something? I'm with you, Daniel. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm worried he's gonna hurt himself. Has he got a nosebleed or something? Almost. It's okay. It's get okay. through, get through, get through, get through. Just breathe. Does Mexico Shh. have an extradition treaty with the US? Breathe. Big Moses vibes. We did it! Get into the car, 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 get into the car. Oh my gosh, get into the car. Yes! Get into the freaking car! It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Nah, we did it together, man. Come on, let's go back to the car. Yes, let's go back to the freaking car. Oh man, oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Get into the car, get into the car. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. It'll be so <gasps> Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, talk to me, Daniel. Talk to me! Huh? Oh. Oh. No, no way, not now. Daniel! Get him into the car and drive to a hospital. <gasps> hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. Oh. oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story. We really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. No. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. 
We have to deal with this kid. Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. No. No, we were so Don't close. Move. We were so close. What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Why did they park so far back? Why did they park so far back? Jesus. What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> fuck. How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals. Uh, fuck's sake. What I say. Uh, okay. Up. Up. I'm so stressed. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? <gasps> Sean Diaz? You're under arrest. We were so close, guys. We were so close. Are you kidding me? Fourth of July. God is... something? Did I mess something up? Did I mess up? Don't look at me. Oh, she is a this bee with an me. itch if there ever was one. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un Niño de 10 años es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, mm, nos fuimos, si hubiésemos tenido que quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida 
I think it's good for him to hear all this if he wants to get if he wants to go there, right? She is pregnant, yeah. I, I didn't listen to what he said at the end there. <laughs> es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Hmm, I don't... Is Onabal, are they asking what it's like to be of Mexican descent in the US? I said I wasn't gonna make Sean like a pessimist, but he's had awful experiences. But then is it also where we are in the US as well? I'm gonna say it's getting better. I wouldn't say we are integrated though. Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's What? America. We speak English. You don't get to tell We're us not to speak. Talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. Well, you're and the one we that just shot have a kid. Your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. They were literally just talking about working twice as hard. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. Why? They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. It's We so dumb. Work It's and, so dumb, and, isn't and it? Peace. Yes. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. You're a bigot. Oh, my dad worked hard. You want to sleep? No! Like, like, oh, like it animals. never tells you when it's counting down. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. What, See, so you can shoot you them. love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> What? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. easy. I don't want him to end up getting hurt. Cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale uh, whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too. Loser. <laughs> I hate her. She's awful. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Blakiness, thank you so much for being for three months. Hope you've had a good three months, my love. Sorry I'm being quiet. I'm feeling really stressed by this whole situation. As you can tell, because of my boys. Okay. Those two are Let's awful. I hate them. I literally hate them. Absolute scum. Oh gosh, what do I do here? What do I do here? 
All Do right. I take the heat for Sit Daniel? Down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. Is this bit important, guys? You want coffee? Do I tell the truth? Okay. Good. Be right back. The Resolver, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. A big heart for you. If oh, you were just gifted by the Resolver, please make sure you say a big, big thank you in the chat. You guys are saying follow my gut, but like, you guys saying tell the truth. But what, I can't, what, tell them that Daniel's magic? Daniel is a mage? Like, how do I handle this? Resolver, thank you so much for the five. Oh yeah, I should ask for a lawyer. I don't have to say anything without a lawyer. You need to focus now and answer fast and be kind. Answer fast and tell the truth. Daniel, I hope he's all right. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I'm not gonna be able to break it, am I? There's no Why point. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. I, I can't do anything without Daniel. Everywhere. I might as well just wait, right? Oh, guys. K Mug, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. If you're gifted by K Mug, please just uh, make sure you say a big thank you so in the chat. Tired of all this shit. Oh, gosh. When will we get a break? And make sure you tag Resolver as well if you're gifted by the Resolver. Not the power, but everything else. Becca, thank you so much for being here for four months in a row. I'm so glad I found you on YouTube two years ago. Thank you so much for finding me and for triggering a hype train. She's still yelling out there. Did you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. Remember, never hurt anyone. Melly Jelly, thank you so much for extending your subscription through July. Don't drink the coffee. What's wrong with the coffee? You did a posture check. Thank you, Lilac. You guys saying don't drink the coffee. Okay. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna drink it. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No, shit. <sighs> Is he waiting for me to drink the coffee? Hope Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Free the couple. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. We didn't do that. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. Agent Flores? She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. Can I get her off this? She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. It's timed. But Denying what you did will only make things worse. 
It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Oh, Whoa! God. What is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. It's on camera. It's Dude, on camera. You gotta go. It's on camera. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. He is moving. He is moving. Wait, the couple, the couple. Hey, hey. Come on, you gotta go. Get us out of here. Get them, get them. How do I get them? Sean. How do I get them? Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. How do I help them? Thank God. Thrown in jail for it. As for the others. The key from the, the cops. who try to shoot you. You got locked up? Nothing Good. personal, dude. He doesn't have keys. He doesn't have keys. He doesn't have keys. He doesn't have keys. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have any keys. He doesn't have any. Can't I just break it? Oh! <gasps> do it. It won't let me do it. It won't let me. Come on. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Oh my gosh, Daniel. What Espera did you do? Until I check this out. Oh, of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? I'm just leaving them. How? It's not about them. What? what you think? What the fuck are you? He's up for the count. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang oh, up. Shit. <gasps> Don't oh, shoot. shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean! Stay back, Daniel. Oh my gosh, guys! Oh. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Oh, I guess it's too stressful. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm so stressed. This is a disaster. Am I doing everything wrong? Owen, thank you for the bits. As Mayhem, thank you so much for the 11 months. Young Volc Volcano, thank you so much for the bits. Oh, I've got to be fast here. <sighs> Distract and run. Use his powers. Quick thinking, Claire, you've got this. The mug? There's a mug. Throw them into the I don't want him to hurt them, though. Quick. I gotta find something to stop. The mug, dude! Officers, down! 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 Down!
Be careful! We will shoot if we need to. Understand? What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything no! stupid! No! Guys, I messed it up! Oh, I don't, have I done it all wrong? It, this is our... Put him in there. Now! Okay. <gasps> You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Our shit is still here. Finally, good news. Paris! Can we get it? Step back. Nice. What about that couple? Don't move. I need I'll to tell right them, back. right? Okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Release the racists. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. Don't go back in there, Sean. It won't let me go back in. There's probably more of them coming. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate. Take it out, Daniel. It wouldn't let me go back for the couple. It wouldn't let me go back for them. Give your Oh, they're there, they're okay. there. Go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Hurry, Sean! Drive! <sighs> oh, no, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Wait, we're meant to listen. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Are we going to go back to the same point? Shit. Sean, what are we going to do? Do 
You know that day? In Seattle. The date Dad was shot. I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. We need I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Oh guys, I'm gonna pull. I wanna go to Mexico, but I don't know. I'd have to kill so many people to get there and that would just ruin Daniel. What do we do? <sighs> Slim T Assassin, thank you so much for the seven months. Hope you've had a good seven months with Clara and the Peaches, thank you. Oh gosh. No one dies if you cross the border. I don't want Daniel, I don't want Sean to be in prison. I don't want Sean to be in prison. I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know how the Wolf River story ends. Would he just get extradited back over even if we got through? <sighs> Both the endings are bittersweet. You guys think cross. I don't like either of these endings either. It's not fair. It's not fair. I don't want him to go to prison, but. Surrender's a better ending. Oh, I don't know what to do. We're going into Mexico with no plan. If it's for both of us, the best thing to do is cross the border. But if it's for Daniel's future, the best thing to do is surrender because he'll be fine. And, oh God, I get so emotional. That's what a big brother would do. They'd look after their little brother. Hi. I think their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could. I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. 
We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be all right. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean... Only the good shit. I will. I swear. I always poll to get your guys' opinions, but in my head, my vote is 10%. On your knees! I said on your knees now! I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. But what about me? <laughs> okay, he's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oye, oye, oye. Come back! He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. <laughs> I don't know what the other option would have looked like too. I know, I'm thinking I should have crossed now. We spent like 20 hours trying to cross. I don't think I should have pricked cross. He's playing with Chris. Is that Daniel's at work? Fifteen years.
Don't mind me, I'm just gonna cry into my sock. <laughs> Does look like Esteban. Oh. for protecting your brother. It's ridiculous, isn't it? 15 years is so long. so handsome. Daniel's still Daniel. screwed from the minute it happened, weren't they? I 
I want to see every other option too, but I don't know if I'd get copyright striked if I did that. Is there a link to all the other endings without a watermark on? I think that's the only way I can do it. It's the watermarks on the video, that's what stops me from doing it. Daniel does have Esteban's nose. And Sean has the mums. Oh my gosh, that was so much! I don't know where Sean went at the end, but... I don't know, I guess it, it found him... hard to be around his brother. You decided to surrender and Daniel accepted. You decided to force the road back and Daniel refused. Overall, you taught Daniel to do his best. Overall, you taught Daniel to put himself and his brothers first. His brother. You wrote a caring note to Karen. You got closer. You said farewell. You said farewell. You hugged Karen before leaving. You intervened to calm Diego. You freed them. You didn't ask Daniel to free the vigilantes. 83% of people didn't do that. And I did, we didn't hurt them either. You didn't ask Daniel to kill the officers. I was really worried about doing that. You told him off about the scorpion. He managed to set up like he wanted. Daniel was concerned about hurting Officer Campbell. And Daniel wasn't asked to free the vigilantes. Uh, he didn't have to lash out at them. Uh, he was locked, he locked up the officers in the closet. Oh, you can knock them out, I'll kill them. Whoa. Wasn't asked to kill the officers, jeez. I think we did the, I feel like we did the best thing possible. Izzy, thank you so much for your six months with Prime. Half a year, this is my second favourite ending out of all of them. Thank you for following Sean and Daniel on their journey. Oh, so emotional. I do want to try and show you guys the other endings. But I'm really worried. If it's if the videos have a watermark on them, I can't do it. Um, I'm going to see if there exists a version without watermarks. Uh, because I want to see the other endings too. Yeah, me too. Uh, life is strange to all endings. Oh, guys, what did you think? What did you think of it? I think... I don't think people will upload it without watermarks. That's the problem. Yeah, this one's got watermarks on it. Oh, this one doesn't. <gasps> All seven endings. Life is Strange uploaded it themselves. Okay, I can't get copyright strike then. Okay, we're going to watch the other endings. We can watch the other endings because I don't think they can copyright strike me on their own content. Oh, it would be Square Enix doing it and we've played the whole game. So I don't think they can copyright that. I hope not anyway. Um, we'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, let me do window capture. Um. Is this gonna work? Okay. Okay, let me see if this plays. Oh my gosh, it's gonna... Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready? We're gonna watch the other endings too. Wait, this is 44 minutes long. What I'll do is the bits that are the same, I will skip. Um, but we will watch like everything else in it and I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, can you guys see that okay? Okay, so we've seen all this bit. I think about it every day. I hate promises. I'll try. This is different to ours already. I had redemption. Oh, is this the one we had? So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Yeah, that's the one we did, right? Yeah, that was Redemption was ours. Okay. That one seems quite long. So this one is Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf ending. Okay, this one was... Wow, our ending was long. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? 
Surrendering low morality. We- this is the worst ending. So when you try and surrender but he doesn't let you. This one's bad. Oh. Don't forget, this didn't happen in ours. This isn't our ending. I think their story ends right here. What? No. No. Daniel, come on. This is the saddest one. So we went all this way? All that shit for nothing? You told me we were going to Mexico. You said- We're done. This one's bad. Oh the my end. gosh, I'm scared now. It's not who we are. Now it's my turn to take care of us, Sean. Nothing can stop the Wolf Brothers. What? He locks me in. No! Stop! <gasps> Shoot! Shoot! Okay, that would have been really bad. That would have been awful. Why? How did he get shot? He was stopping all the bullets. Why? How did he get shot? Okay, this one was really bad. It was before we blocked them. And did it all get blamed on Sean? Yeah, that ending is awful. I'm so glad we didn't get that one. What does that mean? Tor tourism affected? Yeah, the music's horrible on this one. Daniel alone in Mexico. Gang violence in Porto Labos. He becomes a wrestler, oh my gosh. He robs a bank using his power. He robs a million. What does this bit mean? Did he kill two police officers? He murdered two police officers? Six years. Is 
Is that Daniel? On the upside, he looks like Justin Bieber. I like his hair blonde. Oh, he's got a teardrop tattoo. Doesn't that mean you've killed a police officer or you've killed someone in prison or something? Justin Bieber, how weird is that? Oh, the wolf. That's why it's the lone wolf ending, I guess. parting ways he look i think he looks very cool like his design is very cool this is the other one this is what i could have done brothers and this is what i almost did i was a second off this i was so close to doing this one Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting him to get out the car. They wouldn't be together this way. 
Oh, I'm gonna cry every ending, I swear to God. I was not expecting that. It's Mayhem, thank you for the bits. I haven't cried in so long. Antidepressants really do a number on you. That was refreshing. Well, everyone, life is strange. And Clo Clo Cactus, thank you for the five months. High five. These five months have gone really fast. I love your videos and streams. Sending hugs from Denmark. Thank you. I need the hugs today, I swear. So they don't stay together this way, but none of the police officers got hurt. And he's happy about that. And Shannon, thank you so much for the three months with your prime. One third of a way to a Twitch baby. I love watching your videos, especially recently. I've quit my part-time job as it was having a massive impact on my mental health and affecting my uni work. Your videos keep me going and help me relax. Thank you. Oh, Shannon, well done for taking, for doing the right thing for your mental health, my love. Hope your uni work's going well. Oh, so they stay separate in this ending. There is no happy ending in this, is there? There is no happy ending. So he goes to his grandparents. <gasps> he gets a dog in this ending. <laughs> he didn't get a dog in the other ending, did he? Is this the only one that he gets a dog? Oh my gosh. Is this the only ending he gets a dog in? Bus avoids lake tragedy due to a miracle. And that's him gardening with his mom and the dog. Oh, but guys, this ending seems better. Did he get one in hours? Did he get a dog in hours? And I just missed it because I was panicking so much. He got his first car. What's on his uncle? What's on his uncle? He's on house arrest. She's so tall, isn't he? He's so tall. He's tugged. He's still on house arrest after six years.
Station. Do you not see Sean in that ending at all? Cassidy was it? Wasn't that Finn? Oh, she's there. Oh. So he's there with whoever he romanced. Black Soul Mermaid, thank you so much for the 11 months. I swear I've never cried so much in my life. These endings are brutal. This game is so beautifully heartbreaking. Thanks for always being there to brighten up my day with your awesome streams. Thank you so much, Black Soul Mermaid. I'm bawling my eyes out nonstop. And Ali Cat, thank you so much for the 100 bits. There isn't really a best ending, in my opinion. So it's about what you think should have come to the. How what you think needs to come the from the escape. End? Some people think the your ending was best, some people think it's the one where they both live somewhat nice lives. It's all your opinion. It is very opinion y, isn't it? So, what's this one? They make it to the other side. Be careful. Oh, so this is surrender. Uh, sorry, run. And he has low morality. Behind that, doing a thing. Kinda epic in this one. Holy wow. Why is he so much stronger in this one? Maybe I should have been a savage. <laughs> Maybe I should have been salvage. Yeah. Let's go home. Those tires are so getting popped on all that glass. <laughs> mm. 
This is crazy. But they're together, like... He doesn't care about those cops, does he? Wow. Oh no. What happened to Pastor Labos? Is that us drawing people in the town? <laughs> Can't really work out what I'm looking at. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Do we become... Are we the bad guys? Did we become the bad guys? We are the bad boys now. Slash furries. The music's scary. He does them murderings again. But does he become Justin Bieber? But does he become Justin Bieber? Oh. We fixed up his dad's repair shop. What are the bad guys? Yes, join me in my evil doing. <laughs> Six years after the events of the border. This music's too much, guys. This music makes me cry every time. Oh. Jim is okay. I missed your bits. When did you send them? I've gone opening my feed for half an hour. <laughs> this is our dad's repair shop, right? I don't like how Sean ends up in this ending. They're scary. That's the scar from where he got shot, isn't it? Wow. 
Got a lot of money in this ending. Sorry, you're gonna see my face and all of its bawling eyes out. So, is that the one where we've got. We go to the border and we've also got low mortali morality, not mortality. Is that what that ending was? Then the music goes all happy. Is that what that one was? Uh, I couldn't have got that one. Oh man, I don't know which one was better. I don't know whether it was better to... I feel like I did the most moral ending, but Sean had to give up 15 years of his life. Oh, the music after all the emotion. Dreamers Arcadia, I can't see your... Oh no! I did! I... Dreamers Arcadia, I've got your message. Thank you for the bits. Sean goes to jail, but he isn't in for life. He's only going to be like 30 when he gets out, which is Claire's age. His grandparents will help him. And this way, Daniel gets a better life. That's really true. That is really true. And Izzy, thank you for the six months. This is my second favorite ending out of all of them. Maybe we did it the right thing. Do you guys think we did the right thing? Let me know in the comments below. Um, okay, let's see who's streaming. Oh, I'm so emotional, guys. It's too much. I'm really glad we got to see all the different endings. I think that was, like, a nice way to do things. I'm going to give you guys some poll suggestions for the raid. Um, so go ahead and choose on who we raid. We've got Brood playing Dead by Daylight. We've got Bella Lasai playing The, um, the Sims 4 um, Elemental Legacy. I don't know what that is, but it sounds so cool. Shirley the Princess playing Sims 4. We've got Sophie Louise, a YouTuber and a new streamer. Usually does a lifestyle stuff, but trying out some Sims today. And then I know you guys were interested in Subnautica, so we've got Weird Lady playing Subnautica. Madison, thank you so much for the three months in a row with the far, uh, prime five months in total. Hi, five to you. Did you guys like our ending? Sean was sad in Claire's ending. I think Sean was just having an emotional breakdown about how much he'd lost, but he can start trying to build his life back now. Uh, although life is not hard when you're in uh, life is not easy when you're an ex-con. So he, there's no good ending for, um, for Sean, really. But I think the one we got is kind of the one I, I've, of all the endings, it felt the most Claire ending, I would say. So that was good. I at least feel like that was good. If you've watched on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. With this whole challenge, uh, with this whole playthrough, I've really, really enjoyed this one. I was much more emotionally invested in this one. We will be playing Before the Storm, but we're going to play the remastered version of it. And then we'll also play True Colors, which I think is going to ruin me because it's a, it's a sister and a brother. And um, my, I also like have 
a little brother. Uh, well, I have a brother as a sister, so I think I'm going to find that really tough. But you guys have voted uh, a mixture of the two. You are exactly on 190. I think we've raided Bella before, so let's go for a new raid today. Let's go ahead and raid Sophie Louise. Because uh, you guys voted for her second, so let's do a brand new fresh raid. Thank you guys all so, so much for, um, for playing with me today. I've had so much fun. I just want to do a big, huge cry. Um, so I'm gonna go emotionally decompress and I will see you guys in another stream soon guys. Thank you so so much I've had so much fun. Thank you for guiding me so much during this playthrough. We'll be playing Stardew tomorrow, not Friday Don't forget that and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye